welcome to the stage, Mr. Maury Sterling. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. You're welcome, glad to be here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, um, we have been given to understand that you are actually active in the Big Brothers Big Sisters program, so you probably have a certain idea of what some of the girls at Aviva are facing as well. A little bit, although I'm, I'm blown away. This is an awesome night. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for being here, and thank you guys for doing this and hearing the stories. I'm, I'm moved. Um, gotta laugh here. I didn't know Jody had my big picture on her fridge. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes, not to draw focus from you, but yeah, I've been doing the big, I'm just going to talk, uh, doing the big brother thing for, yeah, a little bit, so it's been, it's been getting to know some stories and stuff that's way outside of anything I ever knew about, and it's great to help, but yeah. I have to ask you to try the other mic just because we're recording it, so, oh, yeah. um, well, for the video that, that? that eight people on YouTube will watch, uh, we need to. How's this? Yellow mic. Yellow mic. Yellow mic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yellow mic. All right. Uh, but you are you are a big brother, so you do participate in helping kids who maybe haven't had all the advantages in life. Yeah. As well. Yeah. No, it's been amazing. I've been working with a guy for about a year and a half, Maddox. He's ten. He's lived through stuff that I can only imagine, and, and it's a great way to sort of just add add another mentor figure place for him to go and have fun. And, um, so, a lot of the girls we've met at Aviva believe that being a uh, famous actor is the solution to all of their problems. That's their life plan. It's that's the whole plan. It's the extent famous and of the plan. <laughs> um, you are what mythology refers to as a working actor, so I assume <laughs> that everything goes right for you and you get everything you want from everyone all the time, always. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely correct. <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let them know it's a good life plan. Okay. It's a good life yeah. plan. Pills and other, <laughs> no. uh, it's a great life plan. My mom was really relieved the first time I got paid. <laughs> I bet you were too. I was too. Yeah, they were both very supportive. But yeah, it's just dreamy. It's no problem. Flat, easy sailing, reliable, consistent. Well, speaking of things that are dreamy, you are a newlywed. You just celebrated your first anniversary, right? Yes. <laughs> And your wife, Alexis, is also in the mentoring game. She just launched a website for young girls, uh, called, well, young women and girls, called Miss Matters. Uh, that's kind of an advice column website. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, it's called MissMatters.com. She's, uh, she's an actor, producer. She does a, wears a lot of hats and extremely talented and much smarter, and more talented than I am. And she uh, has been mentoring and tutoring a little bit from that. She developed this uh, website, blog, combo stuff called MissMatters.com. It's it's really to put together older mentors and younger women. So a lot like Aviva online and create a forum online for women to talk and tell their stories. She does kind of the send in questions and she'll answer that, but once a month she brings in a mentor from the, out in the world and a bunch of different professions to, to sort of talk about what it is to be a woman in the marketplace or dating or anyways. It's really, really, really cool what she's doing. So. And uh, much like we've been talking about Aviva, which is different volunteers bringing their different skills, uh, the thing about Miss Matters is there's women from very different walks of life. So if a question comes in that someone that's kind of already on her sort of, in her bank of mentors is equipped to answer, she doesn't wing it. She hands it to someone who's kind of walked that road, which I think is what kind of distinguishes it from a lot of other advice sites. Yeah, yeah. And kind of underscores the point that everybody can do something like she's using what's in her wheelhouse and she's roped in other people using what are, what's in their wheelhouse now. What you want to do according to your Twitter account is that it says you are a wannabe cowboy and martial artist. <laughs> How wannabe. much do you want to be those things and what are you doing to achieve those dreams? Um, I've been going, the, the cowboy part, I ride horses a fair amount, and I met, I went to a dude ranch in Montana about 15 years ago on a family vacation. We realized we needed outdoor activities and somebody else to do the cooking for us to have a chance <laughs> of not killing each other. And um, uh, so we found this place in Montana, which I absolutely fell in love with, and, 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 and immediately said to them, like, look, if you guys ever need help, 
I'll, I'll be there. And they looked at me like, sure, California kid, yeah, we, need, we need your help. Um, and, but over the years, I've been going back a lot. And that, so I still say wanna because the, the level of skill that people I've met out there have is just mind blowing. The martial arts I've been doing for about 17 years. And, and there's a little more, I'm, I'm a little less of a wannabe with that one now. Just, ah. yeah, so some progress. All right, and occasional B? I, occasional, yeah. A partial, partial B. My teacher said the other day, you're, you're almost ready to have a white belt. And then this is. <laughs> wow. That's pretty impressive, yeah. Maury. Uh, Jennifer, you want to. I do want to end on a serious question. Several years ago, you had the chance to work with some of Hollywood's finest canine talent in Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Yay! Who, who you do you it? think would be more likely to pee on a set, any of those dogs or Mandy Patinkin? Mandy. Mandy. That's what I thought as well. That's what I heard. Yes, Mandy. He's... One of my, oh. Go on. So there's a table read for Homeland. And it was early, it was the pilot, and, and a lot of the actors weren't there, so I got to read a bunch of, you know, Max doesn't talk very much. Uh, so I got to read a bunch of other parts, and uh, we finished it, and um, I was heading to the restroom, and Mandy was heading to the, well, I was leaving, heading to the restroom, and Mandy was walking by me, and it was my chance to say, you know, Mr. Patinkin, I just, you're amazing, you blow, blow, blow me away, and you're blah, blah, blah. And what I didn't realize is that we were both heading to the restroom. So, so one of my greatest moments was being complimented by Mandy Patinkin while, <laughs> it just so it just, I just timed it just right. That is incredible. It was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even know that. That's, that's the most that's inspirational. So that's what I'll tell the girls on Viva. It's not. It's those tonight. moments. That, yeah. that, that, you know. It is. It is. That's. I think that would turn a lot of lives around mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we want to bring out Katie for a minute here uh, to get set up and, and move on to our next portion. Um, we do. We are so glad to have you here, and we wish you well in everything you do, from your acting career to your martial arts belt, and, uh, and playing on horses and whatever you do. We're, we just wish you the most success in the world, because we're so glad to have you here tonight. Uh, so just success with everything, except for this game, because it is rigged. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play The Game is Rigged. <laughs> Just keep in mind that you won't win. But losing should never cause you shame because you know we've rigged the game. <laughs> so, Maury, I think we should probably go ahead and address the elephant in the room, which is um, you are a good looking straight white male. Has that been difficult for you? Do you find <laughs> a lot of doors just aren't open because of that? It's, that's, uh, yeah, it's, um, I didn't see that one coming. I thought we were going to move past that for the white belt deal. Safe. safe. It's been breezy. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Just like becoming Thank a famous actor. It's just nothing, it's just but, nothing but open doors yeah, and glory. Open yeah. doors and glory, okay. no difficulties. Well, it's pretty much, it is, that is true. It's society. Um, well, we we still think you're very brave uh, and a trooper, and we wanted to make you feel better about everything you've had to overcome as you're a member of your very oppressed yep. demographic yeah. by right. letting you know that there are jobs, certain jobs historically, for which it has been good to be a man, uh, particularly a white straight man, but definitely not a woman. Uh, yeah, so we created a game called It's Good to Be These, set to the music of It Sucks to Be Me from Avenue Q. And uh, for this game, Katie is going to sing to you about some traditionally male-dominated jobs. And your job is to guess what job she is singing about. So, for example, if Katie's saying, I run the country, a job that gives me great hair. Dick Cheney. Yes. <laughs> Correct. You you would say you would say president. 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 Because yes, Katie was, was singing best. about the president, president, president of America. Now that you've got an idea of how this game is played, it is time to ask you to make your wager. Now keep in mind, you will not win because the game is rigged. 
Yes. So you do, you understand the game is rigged. I do. I think I, I'm still feeling pretty good about my chances. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no matter how well you do, and we do want you to do your best, you cannot win. We want to make this clear. Remember the demographic. <laughs> Traditionally, a winning demographic, yes. But knowing that you will lose, however much you wager. How much are you willing to wager that you will win? I will wager $100 that I will win. $100. Fantastic. Thank you very much. All right. So you understand how the game works? Yes. And that you'll lose? N n no. Yes. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Here we go. Take it away, Katie. When things are burning, we rush in with the big hose. Specifically, potentially male actor. Uh, that would be incorrect. Uh, this is the person who yells action. Oh, director. I'm sorry. That is yes, 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 yes. 80, 88 sorry. of 89 Oscars. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Men. So that's going to be at eight because you needed a hint. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, here, just keep it, keep it rolling. You're doing great. Okay. You, I mean, you might, you might have a chance. You don't have a chance, but you might have a chance. <laughs> We've all got fun names like Zynga, Sploosh, and Kapow. We've built the apps, so we're off to get some money now. And we'll make millions even with no revenue stream. Let's go launch our IPO. It's good to be these. It's good to be these. It's good to be rich and smart and rich and under 33. It's good to be these. Techies, I mean startup.commerce. I'm oh. sorry, the answer we were looking for was Silicon Valley startups seeking venture capital, and we did need the exact, exact words. We needed the exact words. So that is wrong, and uh, like every app ever invented, that was worth a billion points, so that's going to be <laughs> minus one but that was, there was like billion. Three other questions. <laughs> Yeah, but those were 10, 10, and then you got the 8, which was already I mean, because it's apps. Because it's Silicon Valley. It's worth more. Look, you could, we, there's one more question for you. You okay. have a chance. Okay. No, you, could, you could win it all you that could rally. You won't, but you okay. could. I'm going to rally. You could. Rally. Give it, give it a rally. <laughs> Let's see. All right, final question. Here we go. When folks stay up late, like past 11 o'clock, they want their comedy to come from someone with a block of guests and an opinion on just how things should be. Chelsea or the other, Amy, Jessica, the third, good Amy, get the hit, but not the ladies. When it comes to these. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
male, average age between 35 and 55, late night talk show hosts. Correct. Correct. And yet, so fundamentally incorrect in its reality, we cannot offer points for it. <laughs> we, have to, uh, we have to award you just a low guttural noise for that. So, <laughs> minus a billion plus grr, uh, I'm sorry, Maury, but you, you did not win, and you will be donating that money to Aviva, but I hope you don't feel too badly, because after all, the, the game, game was rigged. rigged. <laughs>